Hello everybody, welcome to Boxing Science. In this video, we're going to be sharing with you the Boxing Science Amateur Boxing Bodyweight Challenge. This is a fantastic bodyweight circuit that you can integrate into amateur boxing sessions that only takes on 10 minutes onto the session. And this is fantastic because it creates a bit of a challenge, a bit of intent, and also hits some key areas of strength conditioning that every boxer should be uh, focusing on. So the bodyweight challenge con consists of four exercises and the aim is to complete this in under one minute. The exercises that we're gonna go through with you are 10 squat jumps, 10 hand release press ups, 10 straight arm straight leg sit ups, and then finishing off with 30 high knee sprint contacts. And the aim is to get under one minute. So we're gonna perform this circuit every 120 seconds, so every two minutes on a rolling clock. So if you finish this within 50 seconds, you get a minute and 10 rest. But if you finish it in one minute and 10, you only get 50 seconds of recovery. So the quicker you perform this, you get rewarded for, so you get more rest. We're gonna perform five sets back to back. So like I said before, it only takes 10 minutes onto your session. And we want to record the seconds uh, that we complete each set in uh, after each set. When we uh, record the first set, write down 50 seconds, whether it's on uh, pen and paper, on your phone, whether it's yourself or the coach, it's important that we record each repetition. Because at the end, what we're gonna do is add up the total duration, and this will give you a score of gold, silver, or bronze. Gold standard is between 50 seconds and 60 seconds on each repetition on each set, a total duration of 250 to 300 seconds. Silver is between a minute and 110. This gives you a total score of 300 to 350 seconds. And then bronze is between uh, an average of 110 to 120. But like I said at the start, the aim is to get this gold standard and complete all four exercises under one minute. And you can create a little goals for yourself to go from bronze to silver, from silver to gold, and keep trying to beat your time on, on a weekly basis. You can have a little leaderboard in your gym, or if you're just wanting to challenge yourself, uh, just make sure that you keep in the log and seeing what your progress is. Uh, this is great to do at the end of amateur boxing sessions. You can give a boxer to it after they've done the pad work or done their sparring to just uh, add some conditioning onto, uh, onto the end of the workout. Or if you've got a large group and you're limited on the amount of space and the amount of uh, equipment that you've got, you know, you only need a, a short, a, sh a small bit of space and you don't require any equipment. So it's a fantastic workout to do. So in this next section, we're going to be showing you uh, the exercises that's required. Okay, you ready, Tommy? So Tommy's going to take part of the challenge. Let's see what he can get. Okay, we're ready to go. Three, two, one and we're on squat jumps. So we're dipping down, hips pushed back, knees over toes, and we've got the water bottle there, just a bit of accountability for Tommy to try and have a bit of intent into each one. It's gonna go into hand release press ups, feet a little bit wider Tommy to make sure that your core's nice and engaged. Taking the hands off, create that intent, that start and challenging that starting strength. Great work Tommy, you're nearly halfway through. Straight arm, straight leg sit ups, legs flush against the floor, toes up towards your shin. Nice straight posture on the way up, arms as high as you can on each repetition. Good, you're on 38 seconds, Tommy. Gonna go do 10 repetitions of this. High knees, 30 contacts. You got 10 seconds to go, Tommy, come on. And time, 55 seconds, well done. So now Tommy's gonna rest for a minute until the two minutes is on the time. And then he's gonna try and repeat that and try to beat that 55 seconds.
Fantastic work, Tommy. Practicing what you preach. Very, very consistent. You're within a four second window there. Your time didn't deteriorate from the first rep through to the fifth rep. Obviously, you'd expect it to deteriorate a little bit, but like I said, 55, 57, 55, 57, within two seconds, and then that last one. You lost a little bit of time through the press-ups, uh, just struggling with that form a little bit. If you're struggling with that in the future, just have a little bit of rest in between each one, have your feet a little bit wider and just make sure that you're keeping that belly button tucked in. But other than that, fantastic effort. A total of 283 seconds, so you're in the gold category. Not right at the top, but you're very, very much up there. So good work. Well done. Okay guys, that's the Boxing Science Amateur Boxing Bodyweight Challenge. I hope you're geared up and motivated now to take on this challenge and put it into your amateur boxing sessions. Like I said, it's fantastic to use with individuals or groups at the end of uh, your amateur boxing session. Tommy gave a great example there, um, getting each repetition, each set under one minute uh, and total duration. Uh, within that gold standard at 283 seconds. Give this a go and if you are giving it a go, please share your progress on it, whether you're gold, silver or bronze. If you've got any pictures or videos that you want to tag us in or send us across social media, feel free to do so as well. We'd love to hear how this challenge has been integrated into your amateur boxing sessions. Okay guys, all the best and enjoy the amateur, uh, sorry, the Boxing Science Amateur Boxing Bodyweight Challenge.